Most of companies like Bajaj Auto, Escorts, Aisha Motors, all of them have declared their numbers. In fact, we have uh, Aisha's numbers, uh, Escorts numbers, sorry, that are flashing for our viewers on the screen. Sonia joins us to give us a roundup about the auto sales numbers. Sonia? Well, thanks a lot for that. So there are four large trends that we've seen in this uh, month's numbers, the auto sales. Let me start with the commercial vehicle space where there's definitely pressure that we're seeing in the sales this time. Both Tata Motors and Aisha Motors have reported a fall in CV sales. Tata Motors CV sales down 4% year on year, while Aisha Motors CV sales down 1.8%. The other big trend I notice is that exports continue to be on the weaker side despite managements like Bajaj Auto saying that things will improve July onwards. So Bajaj Auto reported a steep 18% fall in exports and that led to an overall 10% degrowth in their numbers. Um, in the third trend, I noticed that the tractor segment has seen an improvement. You mentioned Escort's uh, earnings as well. Escort's earnings have been very strong in the quarter gone by. Even for the numbers for the month of July, domestic sales growth came in at almost 10% for Escort's. The management says that retail demand will pick up in the festive month starting September. In fact, even if you pour through their Q1 numbers, there's been a significant jump in the EBITDA performance and very strong top-line growth for Escort's as well. M&M2 reported a domestic tractor volume growth of 11% year-on-year. And the fourth trend is that the uh, passenger vehicle segment, especially the SUV segment, has seen a very strong growth. M&M just reported a passenger vehicle growth of 29% year-on-year. And they clocked in the highest ever SUV domestic sales of 36,200 in a single month. Back to you. Thanks, Sonia. Thanks a lot for that. We'll just pull up those escorts numbers. The stock is